Public Act, 10844, Department of Information, and Communications, Technology. What is RA 10844? RA 10844, is an act, creating the Department of Information and Communications Technology, defining its powers, and functions, appropriating funds therefore, and for other purposes. RA 10844, otherwise known as, Department of Information and Communications Act of 2015 was signed into law on May 23, 2016. What is the scope of RA 10844? Scope 1, to recognize, the vital role, of information, and communication, in nation building. Scope 2, to promote the development, and widespread use, of emerging ICT, and faster and accelerate, the convergence of ICT, and ICT-enabled facilities. Scope 3, to ensure the availability and accessibility of ICT services in areas not adequately served by the private sector. Scope 4, to promote the use of ICT for the enhancement of key public services such as education, public health and safety, revenue generation and socio-civic purposes. Scope 5, to promote digital literacy, ICT expertise and knowledge building among citizens to enable them to participate and compete in an evolving ICT age. What are the acts against the law? There are no acts against the law because it only ensures the implementation of the law. The DICT shall strengthen its efforts on the following focus areas. Nation building through ICT safeguarding of information. Advancement of ICT in the Philippines. Aligning with the current administration's ICT agenda, the DICT will prioritize the following. Development of a national broadband plan to accelerate the deployment of fiber optic cables and wireless technologies to improve internet speed. Provision of Wi-Fi access at no charge in selected public places including parks, plazas, public libraries, schools, government hospitals, train stations, airports and seaports. Development of National ICT Portal. This information material ICT policies and safety issues in teaching and learning. In our country, the Department of Information and Communication Technology, or DICT, has formulated a roadmap to guide all agencies in the utilization, regulation, and enhancement of ICT. Each project has a corresponding policy statements and guidelines, one of which is the ICT for Education, or the ICT for E. It is a program under the DICT that supports all the efforts of the education sector in incorporating the use of ICT, as well as in determining and gaining access to the infrastructure, such as the hardware, software, telecommunications facilities, and others, which are necessary to use and deploy learning technologies at all levels of education. The following are the policy recommended programs of ICT for Education program. First is we have the ICT in Education Master Plan for all levels. It includes a national roadmap for faculty development in ICT in education. A national framework plan for ICTs in basic education was developed. Next is the content and application development through the Open Content in Education Initiative or the OCEI. It converts the DepEd materials into interactive multimedia content, develop applications used in schools, and conduct students and teachers' competitions to promote the development of education-related web content. Next is the FedNet. It is a walled garden that hosts educational learning and teaching materials and the applications for use by the Filipino students, their parents, and their teachers. All public high schools will be part of this network with only DepEd approved multimedia applications materials and mirrored internet sites accessible from school's personal computers. Next is the established community e-learning centers. It is called Escuela for Out of School Youth or OSY, providing them with ICT-enhanced alternative education opportunities. 
Another is the Equality Program for Tertiary Education. It is through partnerships with state universities and colleges or SOOCs to improve quality of education and the use of ICT in education in the country, particularly outside of Metro Manila. Another is the media or the digital media arts program. It builds digital media skills for government using open source technologies. Particular beneficiary agencies include the Philippine Information Agency and the other government media organizations, the Cultural Center of the Philippines, National Commission for Culture and Arts, and other government art agencies, state universities and colleges, and other local government units. And lastly, we have the ICT Skills Strategic Plan. It develops an interagency approach to identifying strategic and policy and program recommendations to address ICT skills demand supply type. And those were the policy recommended programs under the ICT for Education program of the DICT roadmap. Thank you.